Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. Yep, you've seen the name of the game. And believe it or not, I actually like Sonic R. I'm one of the few who actually like this game. <laughs> so, here's a random gameplay on it. Let's get this started. And loading, of course. Why wouldn't it be loading? Grand Prix, and I forgot to load my data. Yeah, you actually have to load your data from the options when you play this game. Load. Load. Load, 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 and now we should be good. I'm gonna go through all the tracks just because I can in this random gameplay because this game is really, really short, and I'm also gonna go through the first uh, five characters here. And yeah, let's start with Resort Island, and we are going to hear some of the cheesiest music in gaming history. Not this. Prepare yourself. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? I certainly hope it does. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this song somewhere before. I mean, it's, it's a pretty iconic song. Those things are boosters, and since it's a racing game, obviously you need to beat everyone, and don't take that loop, it is much slower than just going around it. There's all sorts of shortcuts that you can do in this game, and that's kind of the reason why I like this game, because it's very open-ended, and I'm just dominating this race in every single way possible. In fact, I have such leeway, I guess I could... No, I'm screwing up. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess I can show you the loop, but eh, well. And I'm taking a slower path. Ah, this is great for rings, though, if you want to get rings. <laughs> Woo! It's kind of odd to be playing a foot race game as a racing game, and it feels more like a car racing game than a foot racing game, and that's kind of why some people don't like it, because it doesn't feel how it looks, but it's it's a rather unique game in that, so that's another reason why I like it. But I don't like things just because they're unique, I like think, things because they're fun to play. And I took the wrong path again, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, I'm just going to see if I can s oh, poopers. Oh, I'm clearly rusty. Oh well, I used to dominate these races. <laughs> but that's fine, it's just a random gameplay, I suppose. Exit, please. And yeah, that was one race, and there's only five tracks in the game. <laughs> um, if you're going for 100%, the game is a little bit longer. I'll pick Eggman this time, because his sprite is really, really wonky. <laughs> but if you're going for 100%, you'll have to first place the races, as well as collect all these special coins. There's five of them in each level. I mean, five of them in each race, excuse me. So that, that gives you a bit more replay value. But not all that much. Eggman here, he's pretty hard to use. <laughs> so I'm probably going to fail pretty badly. Though his hovering ability kind of can be handy. And... Woo! Oh, shoot! I forgot you can't jump with him. That's kind of an issue. <laughs> but I will survive. I have to keep the dream alive. <laughs> this music, it, it's so cheesy, but I just love the cheesiness of it. <laughs> uh, I could have went right there for a shortcut. Of, oh, I could have also went through that gate to, because I have 50 rings. That's another thing about the races is that you gotta pick paths that give you rings and stuff like that in order to get through them and stuff. Yeah. Come on, Eggman. We can do this. You are horrible, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, baby. Just shot a missile. That's Eggman's special ability. If you can lock onto a character to slow them down, it's kind of a way to compensate for uh, the terribleness that is Eggman. <laughs> I will probably never, ever be out of fourth place with this entire race, because I can't do any shortcuts that require jumping. So I, I can only take the regular routes. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah! 
Pinball time! Man, that was a decent shortcut. I should probably take that on, ah! on the last lap because it helped so much compared to the other ones, and I'm definitely at quite a disadvantage. <laughs> Tails just overtakes me, and he's. He, I, I guess Eggman is probably the slowest character. I don't know the, the stats, but Tails is definitely slower than Sonic. And I could have also gone across the water there, but like to the left, there's another path there. There's lots and lots of paths in all these tracks. It's it's actually fun just to randomly explore the tracks and just look at the scenery and stuff like that. Even if the you know if, even if there's not too much to uh, go through, it's just I don't know. I just like this game. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I'm I'm just okay with the game, and I forgot to take the shortcut path. Dang it! Oh no, I'm gonna get third. Oh, well, maybe I have a chance at overcoming Sonic if I take the inside track. Dang it, Tails! You keep getting ahead of me! No! I must. Dang it, Tails! <laughs> and there's. No, I got fourth! Fourth is worse than third! I'm never gonna use Eggman again! He stunk! <laughs> All right, next track. Exit. I will get first eventually. <laughs> Grand Prix. Actually, oof. Amy's pretty bad too. <laughs> that's that's another thing about the game is that you you kind of have a very very strong imbalance of the characters. <laughs> is that? There's only a couple of good ones in each tier, and by tier I mean the characters that you start out with and the characters that you unlock are in totally different tiers. Like the ones that you unlock are way, way better than the characters you you don't unlock, so there's an issue there. I'm just trying to cut through things because- No! Wait, dang it! Ah, there! There's a spring here, I forgot about that! Get on! Oh, I can't get on the spring with Amy, I'm stuck. <laughs> Okay, this game is good if you use good characters. How would I retry this race? That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you need to jump to get on the spring, so... Jumping or flying characters definitely have a greater advantage than landborn characters. Remember that! <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, some of the landborn characters can't go in water, but usually their jump is so good that they can just jump right over the water that is supposed to be obstacles, and I can't go through there without, without enough rings. <laughs> I was instinctively going for that path, and I can't actually take that path. Wow, I think Amy's worse than Eggman. <laughs> so yeah, definitely your experience on this game will vary depending on how good of a character you choose. You know what? I'm gonna play this with a good character. Because <laughs> I'm taking paths that require a good character to take out of, like, instinct and yeah. No Amy or Eggman, please. Okay, back to the Regal Ruin. <laughs> it's just, it's just embarrassing playing with a character trying to take, you know, sh uh, routes that you can't actually take that you're taking from routes that you're normally used to. And okay, you get the idea here. And you also notice that the uh, environment, or I should say the uh, um, the time of the day changes depending on how many times you play through the track and whatnot. So there's day and night uh, playthroughs of these as well, but it's not like it changes the track or anything like that. It just changes the scenery, so you're able to see it in different lights. Oh, oh, oh no, you don't. I know that there's a jump there. And by the way, how was I? How did Amy get over that? Was there like, am I able to do something with Amy that I forgot I'm able to do? Ah, water. <laughs> like I, I might have just simply forgot all the characters' traits since the last time I played the game because it, it, it has been years since I've played this. So yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I'm missing a shortcut there. I think I'm supposed to go over the water to the right before I go up here. I'll do that on the last lap. To show you what I mean here, which is way, way faster than the path I have been taking. What is this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this? Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe I'm just simply sucking because I'm just that rusty. Yeah, this is the 
I was supposed to go this way. Dang it! My memory! It is terrible! <laughs> when you're first playing through the game, you want to follow the, uh, the characters for the most part. But, uh... Uh, once you get the hang of it, you'll want to try and find your own paths, like what I'm going to attempt to do up, ah, up ahead of here, which is go across the water, and then go through here, which is a mega shortcut, if I remember correctly. Yeah, now this leads to that path. Yeah! <laughs> See, the, the shortcuts in this game are pretty much everything, actually, because uh, of the you know, abilities and stuff like that that you have to... Uh, oh, I got second. Dang it! <laughs> and I was doing so well catching up, but I just ran out of time. But yeah, the shortcuts. Definitely take them if you can find them. And that's another thing is that you, that you want to explore the uh, levels just to find shortcuts and try to find uh, your favorite way to get through there that you'll be able to have the uh, lowest time possible. And if you do know the lowest paths offhand, you will dominate the races very, very well. All right, Tails, let's go to the Reactive Factory. I think there's a, um, like a, uh, and I was going to say a pun, but that's not it. It's like a tongue twister in that. All right, let's do this. I think there's oil going through those clear pipes or something like that. Maybe this is the oil ocean zone of sorts in 3D. And you, you got this really annoying sound as you're, Playing this level with Tails. <laughs> I forgot about that. But Tails is. Tails is. Tails' flight is very handy, so take advantage of that when you can for shortcuts, like so. Woo! Uh, which path do I take? I think this. No, wait, the other path was the shorter one, wasn't it? Uh, I'll just take more different paths. As I said, this is just a random gameplay. I'm not playing this as a walkthrough. What if I did play this as a walkthrough? I would definitely be. Uh, practicing this, ah, slippery, practicing this a lot more. <laughs> like before I would make the video, like I would get my skills back up in this game. And I would probably use Sonic through the whole thing. <laughs> Until, like, I unlock the characters and I just want to show off the characters or, any, or stuff like that. By the way, in case you don't realize, those, uh, uh, winged things that, I'm, that I run through give you items. And, yeah, dang it. <laughs> Skip that! Yeah! Shortcuts for the win! Woo! And I'm gonna go this way this time. Yeah, this is definitely a faster route if I recall correctly. Just hold the jump button in the air to fly, by the way. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot you should also use the L and R buttons to um to do tighter turns. That's another thing that I forgot about that I would definitely have to mention in a walkthrough of this game. So that I would be able to do stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's kind of like drifting in a way. And yeah, I'm just kind of failing there because I've got to re-get the hang of these controls and I don't have enough time in a random gameplay to re-get the hang of these controls. So here I am. <laughs> oh, and also on loops, you got you got to react to move with the pacing of the loop because you will actually uh, get screwed by the loop itself and sometimes end up falling off or going backwards. So as I said, this game does have its flaws, but if you if you work your way through the flaws, you can actually have a pretty good time with this game. And third, third. Yeah. I am not going to get first in any of these races, am I? <laughs> Exit. One more track. This track only unlocks when you unlock everything else. So yeah. So, oh, I guess Sonic. Oh, I should also show you something else here. Um, on Sonic, once you unlock everything, you can switch to Super Sonic, which is easily the most broken character in the game, but for the sake of um, uh, just playing through the game in a fairer sort of way, let's go to the final track, Radiant Emerald. It's a Rainbow Road imitation! And it is probably the most linear track in the entire game, actually. I mean, there are some paths you can use to get the special coins in the level, but otherwise, this track is really, really, really linear. The 
just try and stay on the inside of the track if you can. Shoots did not mean to spin there. As I said, the loops can screw you sometimes if you don't follow them. Oh yeah, the cheesy music's really going now. <laughs> Listen to it. Listen to it and cringe. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, those locked doors, you gotta collect a lot of rings to get through them, so you better be pretty accurate when you're collecting rings on here so that you can take uh, those slower ring door paths in order to get through them as well as to get first at the same time. Because that's actually a requirement, is that you need to get first along with getting the coins, so you really need to know the tracks well in order to get the most out of them. And surprisingly, I am in second despite this being the most linear track in history. I'm not really sure how I'm managing to do that. <laughs> it's gotta be my uh, lack of practice here. Oh, and rings also regenerate uh, on various laps, and I screwed up on the loop again, so you'll be able to keep collecting rings as long as you see them on each part of the track at the same parts of the track, so that's another way that you can get the hang of the tracks easier. Boy, I'm really talking as if it, this is a walkthrough, aren't I? <laughs> this is actually more like a like the random gameplays that are show off games that I like and give them like a review of sorts as I go as well to show you why I like them and stuff like that. So yeah. And also random gameplays allow me to play more different kinds of games because you know walkthroughs take kind of a long time to go through and yeah. <laughs> So if I, you know, if I just played walkthroughs exclusively, I wouldn't be able to show off all the games that I want to show off, and the random gameplays also help me with that, you know, just by allowing me to show off the other good games that I like, or at least that I consider it to be good. <laughs> I know that I'm in the minority with uh, Sonic R here, <laughs> but yeah, I do actually like this game. It's, <clears throat> but uh, that just happens sometimes, you know, with a matter of opinion. <laughs> just find that you like stuff that people don't like and you stick by them and some someone take that door how did they take that door I never took that door <laughs> oh I, I think I'm actually catching up with knuckles do I have enough time to win this probably not oh not if I hit the wall like that I gotta remember to use the shoulder buttons to drift ah oh, second place again <sighs> Cannot get first, can I? <laughs> well, that's all for the random gameplay, and I actually showed you all the tracks in the game. It really is that short of a game. I mean, there's that many, that few of tracks in the game. But as I said, if you go for 100%, you're going to get more out of the game. But since I'm not in this random gameplay, I just showed all the tracks. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you later.